Okay, folks. Uh, long drive back home. These are my brothers. Celebrated my uh, niece's 16th birthday. Let me see. Let me fix this. Phone went down to 68%. Okay, connect my phone. Very good. Navigation. It hasn't got its bearings yet, but I'm getting there. So there are dead spots in Texas. And uh, my brother's place is one of them. I mean, they do have cell service. So this dirt road gets maintained by uh, my brother. He has a big uh, John Deere tractor. And great equipment that grades his stuff. So if you see all the little bumps, that's the stuff that he uses. He puts down caliche, I think every year. You can see some parts where it's still muddy. There was a big rain last night. Uh, he showed me a tree by his ex-mother-in-law's who just passed away, Libby, where her tree was stuck by lightning and blew out the center of this mesquite tree. So I think the tree is still alive because mesquite trees are pretty hardy, all right? They can grow around stuff, through stuff, whatever. But uh, he doesn't want to fall down on anybody. But if you notice, there's a lot of flowers to the left. So he grades the side, okay? Make sure the dirt is away. And you can see a little gully from, from the rain. This used to be all smooth. So he always maintains it. He does a real good job once a year, but then uh, He's always maintaining it like once a month, you know, smooth it out and stuff. But it dries pretty quick, the stuff that he uses. And it's not red clay. Red clay, you just, it'll turn into a swamp, like quicksand. So, it's pretty good. Just a few bad patches, but, well, nothing you can do about that. A cell tower here they have I don't know what that building is maybe for water he yeah, has a well but I guess they can get city water too okay. and this is a 1604 loop been on it many times, but this is the south side of the 1604. And I'm going to move the fluffy closer to me. Try to keep it so it doesn't fall off. There we go. It's pointing toward me. It might fall off. I'm hoping it won't. So there are some cars that uh, speed on this road. I think it's 55. I 
coming up to a, the only stoplight that they have in this town called Thelma. It's coming up right now. I think on one of my videos I made a right up here. Yeah, that or on another road after 281. Yeah, I passed 281. Because they had an accident or something and they divided, they uh, diverted all the traffic. Dummy batteries working great. So this connection is fantastic. The other one is the bad one, so I may have to tape it up, you know, to keep it in place. Actually, what I did was I put it on the Z30, and it's now my product table uh, camera. And uh, I'm using the R7 to view the TV again. But uh, the footage is still kind of choppy when I use uh, QuickTime. So apparently a lot of resources on QuickTime and Ecamm just don't work together. So i got to figure out another way of doing it. And what I'm thinking of is when I recorded my um, uh, game playing, I used the R7. So I, I would turn on Ecamm okay on the Mac and it shared the same TV the 55 inch OLED or Q OLED I should say and what it did there was I was recording it playing the game on the PC and then when I got finished with that level then I stopped recording and it worked out pretty good I was impressed So it's 85 degrees, cloud cover, so I kind of kept it cool. Mosquitoes are out and they're biting. I had a nice meal. So they did a real good job on this road. There's really a lot, not a lot of people that live down here, but uh, they got two schools. They got a, I think an elementary and middle school. And then the high school is back on 281, which I already passed the uh, highway. But I think I'll take 37 to 281 again, make it a nice drive. I got it on uh, automatic instead of program priority, which I'm going to change after about 20 more minutes. Then I'll put them in program priority to see how you can tell the difference between the pictures. So, anyhow, that's what's going on on that. Ah, so. They added another stoplight, so it's a stoplight in front of each school. Okay, 
Used to be they didn't have any of them here. Now they got three. Uh, they have the Toyota plant uh, down toward the city between 410 and 1604 that make Toyota Tundra trucks. Yeah, I'm not a truck guy, folks. So. And that car looks far away, doesn't it? But I love the picture of the clouds. This 26 millimeter, folks, it's fantastic. It's at F8, okay? One third of the shutter speed. ISO is at 1250. And it takes about 40 minutes driving from my brother's to my place if I take I-35. But I'm not. So I'm gonna do it like a 10 to 15 minute in automatic. And then I'm going to switch it to program uh, priority, and then you can tell the difference between both videos. Now I did one big long one on the way here. I had a nice discussion with a friend. So there's something in the works that I'm going to surprise you with, and he's going to surprise uh, his viewers also. So stay tuned for that. So it's right now at twilight, it's 825, 8.30 is usually sunset, but it hangs around. Slid down on the carpet. Okay. That's a little bit better. Now you get to see more of the car. Sorry about that. And what I might do is just see, I didn't want to do that either. But it's just sliding her down too much. So I might have to do this. Just put that there. This might be a little bit better, a little bit higher, but I don't know. I just put it in the center, and I put the old fluffy near to me so you can hear my voice. Turn down the air conditioning to one, so it's still cool in here. I'm not worried about the ZFC overheating. tape I was taping this morning I think I talked to the guy most of the trip so I can't use that footage but I'll use these two they're long enough but I'm showing you part of the country so that's a power plant to the right. That's for the city. 
you can see cell towers and lights. And I can point the camera to the left or the right, show you the city. I think that's a lot better than having two cameras, one viewing from the side and the other one viewing in the front. This way I just turn the uh, camera left or right and it's good enough with that lens that you can carry the uh, or catch the highlights of the city and it looks awesome. I'm thinking of getting like a little turntable or something that I can mount on there and that way I could turn the camera easier but then you have to worry about it slipping off so I was thinking of also putting a little board on there you know to make it straight so it doesn't curve downward so, I, I got a few options in the, the plans oh and look at that sunset I gotta pull off and show it to you. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Oh, it's gorgeous, folks. Okay, let me get off one exit 130 real quick. And I'm gonna try to point it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think this is a two-way road right here. So let me see. Yep. Okay. There's Ponic Lake. All right. Where am I going to park? I'm going to park at Mobile Home. But I got trees in the area. So I'm going to try to get to a, a clearing where you don't see the trees and you can see that sunset. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm just gonna back up. And point the car to that direction. Yeah, there's still trees. Dug on it. Could have moved a little bit more to the left. But there's a there's the sunset, folks. And I got that stupid sign in the way too. Now let me drive a little bit more. Let me drive a little bit further more. Up here. I think it's a church. I don't want to get on their property. There's a road right here. This is what I want to show you. Okay, right here. Get on this road. I'm going to turn around. Now I'm going to back up. Now, there's a shot. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So, this is uh, an automatic. I'm going to turn off the recording and put it in program priority. All right, program priority. And it looks different, doesn't it? Does it look better? ISO. The only thing I can see is the ISO is uh, a little bit lower. It's at 800. But look at that cloud and look at that sunset. Isn't that something? So I'm going to go right back to automatic and take a look at it. Well, folks, I'll tell you this. Automatic looks a lot better than uh, priority. So the ISO shot up to 1600, 1250. That's the only thing. The ISO is higher. But you see uh, the focus breathing? That's the thing you have to look out for. All right? 
So if I put in program priority, well, folks,